What is up folks? Jorge Anito here. Thanks for coming over and welcome back. Guys, today we have a special video. Um, it's an unboxing. Good friend of mine, Craig Rockanova, reached out and said, Jorge, hey, got a few decks I want to send to you. You cool with that? And I'm like, yeah, of course. Craig Rockanova, great last name. You may be familiar with that because I mentioned him in a previous video. So yeah, um, I don't know what decks he sent to me. All I know is that uh, I came home from work and this box was in the mailbox. So um, there you have it. We're going to open it together. And so I'm curious. I'm excited. And oh yeah, by the way, stay tuned for the end of the video because it's time for a random giveaway. Yeah, it's been a while since we did a giveaway. And so yeah, one lucky subscriber will win two decks uh, of my choosing from my private collection. Um, so stick around to the end. It'll be really simple, really easy. But let's do this unboxing right now. Alright, guys. Let's see here. Nice. So inside, there are what looks like little tiny Tannins uh, mystery boxes. There's a little question mark from Tannins. I don't know if the camera's picking. Maybe the glare from that's how. Anyway, how cool is that? All right, so complete surprise. Complete surprise. I have no idea what we're getting into here. We have a little something from Craig here. I'm just going to... Uh, give me just a second, guys. I'm going to read this. Alright, so Craig, thank you so much, man. That's really, really special, really awesome. Uh, super humbled and blessed. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's, let's get into these. Um, so along with these decks, Craig sent um, a few things, a few stickers. We got an Art of Play. Sticker right here, the Art of Play logo. How cool was that? As well as an Art of Play. It's an elephant sticker right there. I'm a huge sticker uh, fan. I have a magic book notebook where I um, just have assorted stickers splattered across it. So how awesome is that? Sweet. Thank you so much, Craig. All right. Let's just see here. How cool is that? You know what this reminds me of is that uh, Art of Play during Christmas time they have the mystery decks where you buy one and they come in like a, you know, like a mystery packaging. I hate to destroy this wrap, but I feel bad for for destroying this here. Wow, I know immediately what this is. This is a pagan deck. How awesome, man. I do not own one of these, and I don't know a lot about these either. Um, what I do know is that this is a very desirable deck. I think they came out with like three or four editions of these. And so um, they're very hard to get a hold of, and the ones that you can find, I know they're very expensive. They range anywhere from like eighty to a hundred dollars, uh, just depending what one. But uh, yeah, so so check this out. I'll just show you the tag stamp here. How awesome is that? And this is made by okay, um, expert playing card company, the Taiwan uh, factory. So, fun fact, this is the first expert deck that I have with the Taiwan stock. So, super curious um, to check these out. Wow. Um, just this right here is super special. And if I remember right, I think these are borderless too. So, this beautiful deck. Um, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, we'll check them out. Thank you so much, Craig. Wow. That is insane. I had no idea I would open up, like, a Pagan deck. That's, um, wow. Thank you. Uh, let's get into the second one. Oh, my gosh. The 
one double O one Aladdin playing cards. Blue Seal, I believe. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'm not up on my Blue Seal game. Um, you guys know that I did an unboxing recently uh, with some uh, with a with a few vintage decks and a Blue Seal blue bike deck being one of them. But yeah, how how awesome is that? Very old. I have one of these. It's the modern, like, Art of Play rendition. Um, so these are the original old school. And I can only imagine how these feel um, in my hands. That's, uh, we'll definitely check those out as well. And a uh, fun fact, the, the Joker in this deck is one of my all-time favorites. Um, so this is a piece of history right here. And i um, super thankful I'm super thankful to have that. Um, definitely add that to my vintage collection. Wow. Awesome. Yeah, my blue sill knowledge is a little lacking, so forgive me if I'm not able to give a little bit of history behind behind this because, you know, like I said. Alright, deck number three. That is great right there. Let's just take a second and acknowledge that. That is really awesome. Super thoughtful, super kind. What a great guy. What a great guy. Guys, I want to remind you, stay tuned to the end of the video because I'll be giving away um, a couple of my personal new, brand new sealed decks from, uh, from my collection. And, uh, yeah... Okay, so I see right off the bat another blue seal. So, classic tally hose. I do not own blue seal tally hose. In fact, the only blue seals I owned prior to these ones uh, was just a couple of blue rider bags. So, wow, this is just a piece of history. Just holding this in your hands. I'm not sure. Um, so Craig has taken the time to actually, he, he has dated these, and he's um, like given me a dating system uh, so that I could uh, read these. Um, so yeah, wow. That is awesome, man. That is so excellent. Guys, let's, let's open these cards and check them out. All right, we'll check out these Aladdins. First and foremost, I'm so curious as to how these will handle. Because just owning the, the modern ones, I know how those ones are. And so these being the uh, blue seals, yeah, super curious. So just right out the gate, I noticed that familiar Joker. Super sweet, love that. We have a guarantee card just here. So if there's any defect in the deck, you can send this card. And I think the... Uh, the defect card, and I think they, uh, let's see, they will return, they'll give you your money back, I think. Um, this card can also be used as an extra joker, it says, um, there at the bottom. Super cool. You got the Ace of Spades. These would be, I think, a, a smooth finish, if I'm not mistaken. So you have the standard faces. I could tell immediately a difference in the in the in the uh, card stock. Um, they just have that really flexible but yet durable feel to them. Oh, how cool is this? We have a uh, calendar, a one double O one Aladdin. Of course, I think there was a book called A Thousand and One Like Arabian Nights. Uh, with like Sinbad and different stories in it, but yeah, so you have a see two uh, two thousand seven right there, and then you have a yeah little calendar card, super cool, standard faces, uh, smooth finish I believe. I will have to do some research on these, but uh, wow. They handle, uh, they handle like a dream. They handle like what we, what you would expect 
blue cells to handle like man I could just play with these for the rest of the evening alright guys super thankful that's awesome uh, thanks again Craig uh, let's get into deck two alright we got the red tally ho circle back try to peel this strip off in such a way to where I can throw the top portion away and maintain the bottom half. A lot of you guys know that I do that, so I could put gaffs in it. It also helps protect against deck warpage too, so it goes a long way as far as uh, deck preservation and deck storage. So yeah, a little bit of ad copy there. Sorry, just kind of spaced out re reading the ad copy. Um, man, how awesome. These have the uh, the waffle, what do you call that? Air cushion finish. You can see the little dimples uh, indented into the card. You got the classic Tally Ho Joker right there. The Fox Catcher. You got a guarantee card. If there's any defect in this pack, we shall be glad to replace it, return the unused Ace of Spades, and the defective card to United States Playing Card Company, Cincinnati, Ohio. How cool is that? And it can also be used as a joker as well. You got the iconic Ace of Spades right there. One of the most ornate and just beautiful Ace of Spades in existence. Standard faces have a couple uh, ad cards over this way too, so it just uh, rank of cards, right? So uh, winning hands in poker, it's one of them, and um, these are different books that you could purchase from Bicycle. Just there, so how awesome! I could tell they these cards. They handle like a dream. Uh oh, my push through suffering here. But yeah, wow, how awesome! Wow, I mean, they handle. You know that it's. There's not even a stock. There's not even a pack of cards. A modern pack of cards that even compared to these blue seals um, I don't know what it is and obviously you guys know this as well there's just something about that old Cincinnati um, stock that's just you know and then when uh, they moved they sold the place uh, they was under contract not to print anything else or not to use those machines again which is a bummer you know uh, but there's still you know some of these decks out there uh, to be had, and wow, I'm super thankful that I got a couple of them. So, thanks, Craig. These are so awesome. Wow, thank you so much. Guys, deck number three. All right, guys, the third deck. These are the, the Pagan Playing Cards by Expert Playing Card Company. This tax sale is so unique. I hate to, to... Man, that box is just... I'm guessing this... I'm going to have to watch a deck review on this, I guess. But um, there's like... I'm thinking a matte finish with uh, gold foil on the uh, tuck. Oh, I see now there's a, like a thumb. There's perforated dots there for your thumb. You can kind of press and up. That's cool. That's good, though. Oh, I could tell right away. Yes, indeed, they are borderless. You know, I have a soft spot for borderless cards. Wow. Full bleed. I've never had a deck with this uh, Taiwan stock uh, expert playing card company. And let me just say, wow, they are so different. They handle like silk. Like if there's such a thing as silk cards, yeah, this would be it. So you have uh, identical jokers 
just here. You have I think I think it's a couple who who uh the creators behind this deck. Um so you got your ace of spade just there. And I'm guessing none of these are standard. Um yeah, so you have these these figures right and uh wow, how cool is that? And it's like on an eggshell white, so it's like an off-white color. It just kind of gives it that vintage, rustic vibe. Um, I'm guessing each ace is, uh, you know, popped out and and given equal attention to. Wow, well, these cards are so unique to look at. I hope I'm doing justice here. Maybe I should do it like this. So that's the King of Diamonds. Super cool. King of Clubs. Check that out. That is super sick. Super awesome. Queen of Clubs. Super sweet, too. These are very unique. Um, I will say that. Wow. I knew, I knew they were. Um, I knew a little bit about the cards. Uh, just from... Previously looking at them and how cool is that king of hearts queen of hearts looks absolutely elegant jack of hearts wow and your ace of hearts these handle absolutely amazing. Let me just see if I can... I can tell right off the bat that they're traditionally cut. So that means they're going to faro from face to back. Wow. Super cool. I'm so excited to have these. Wow. Very happy, Craig. Thank you so much. These are excellent. I can't wait to put these to good use. And to all who stuck stuck around um, this far, uh, we're going to do a random giveaway uh, right now. All right, my friends. So to enter this giveaway, this is all you have to do. Oh, this is what you would win, by the way. Uh, we have the new Flamingo Quartz Cherry Casinos. These cards are so thin. You can just hear them bouncing around in the box. Metallic, light pink. Um... Very desirable. They handle uh, just like butter. And also a pack of Republic Number no. 3. This is the Artist Edition. These are black. You may remember I reviewed the Jeremy uh, Griffith Edition, the green ones, and did a giveaway on those. These are the black ones. Um, these are phenomenal. Cardamundi Slimline Stock. Very thin cards for Cardamundi. We're used to the Fat Boy uh, stock, right? So very desirable here. Um, yeah, so one lucky person will win both of these. This is all you have to do. Run over and subscribe to Craig Rockanova. I'm going to leave a link in the description uh, to his most recent videos. And uh, yeah, once you've done that, you know, leave him a comment. Show him some love. He's a really cool, generous person. Really down to earth. Just a great guy. All around. Lover of card magic. And so, yeah, show him some love. Come back here. Leave a comment on this video. And let me know. You're done. Let me know that you subscribed. Um, I'll run over. I'll verify. I'll check it out. Uh, we'll let this run for about a week or so. And then uh, I'll announce next week who the winner is. There you have it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have an enjoyable weekend. An enjoyable weekend. Yeah. Have an enjoyable weekend. God bless.